to a lab that we did a little while ago. So we are dropping a little marble. It's going to hit the ground, and we have this car that's going to roll up and catch it. And we want to know what this distance here is. So let's just kind of write down the equation for the car. So we know the car is moving at this kind of way because um, it's a constant velocity buggy. So the buggy equation is going to be 0 0.4 times t. Now let's see how long it takes the marble to fall 2 meters so that the buggy has to catch it. So we know the position of the marble. Um, I'm going to call this y naught and y. I'm just going to use the letters y for this since it's vertical. Um, I know the acceleration is going to be g because it's falling. Um, I don't know the time. That's what I'm actually looking for. And I know that the initial speed is 0. We'll say the initial position is 0. We don't know what v final is. So let's see if we can actually figure out the time to fall since we know that y final is 2. So we know y equals 1 half gt squared plus v naught t plus y naught. Again, I'm getting the time it takes the marble to fall because that's how long the car will have in order to catch the marble. So as this falls, the car is going to move forward and catch it. So we're going to get 2 equals 1 half times, um, I'm just going to round and say 10, times um, t squared plus 0 times t plus 0. And so we're going to end up getting 4 tenths equals t squared. And we actually get t that's going to end up being about 0 0.63 if I have my numbers right. So that means the distance the car needs to be is about 0 0.4 times 0 0.63. And when we actually multiply that out, that ends up being about 0 0.252 meters, or about 25 centimeters away. So that's it for your second practice exam. I hope that was helpful, and um, I will see you all next week.